It absolutely takes a village. And whether that's a, whether you're a big Facebooker and you get on the Foster Facebook page and you're, and you're posting and sharing stories and being encouraged by somebody in that way, or, hey, I need something from a foster closet, which are all over the place, so the things you need are there. Um, or whether it's your local church who watches your kid for 10 minutes while you go somewhere, or it, it takes all of that. And yeah, it's, it's, that's a huge key, I think, is to realize that you're not alone at all. Um, everybody will jump in and support you. And I think doing this too, you can become very, um, just completely committed and um, devoted to fostering, to devoted to the kids and the appointments and the visitations and all of that that goes into it. Um, and one thing to always make sure you're guarding is your marriage relationship, making sure you're taking time for one another. Um, when there's so much chaos going on around us, um, whether it's people coming in and out of the house or it's behaviors, trauma behaviors from the kids or just the regular daily life of having, like for us, eight kids in the home, um, we have to be very intentional about making sure that we're taking time um, with each other, making sure that we're taking time to really connect um, and communicate because if we're not on the same page and if we're not um, invested in each other, then that trickles down to the family. Um, so we just have to make sure that we're, we're really taking that time um, to put our marriage first and then letting the kids, the fostering, and everything else um, come after that. So our pastor and his wife just got uh, licensed and they texted us like the day they got the child and like, this is so hard, I don't know how you do it with eight, we, you know, we got one. Um, then that child went on a visit with uh, bio mom, bio dad, so two days later, and they're texting us. We can't get a hold of the caseworker. When's he coming back? You know, it's that this is hard, but man, my heart's in it. And I, I love this child immediately. It's just, it's just an amazing thing. I don't think, I don't think you can understand it until you're in the midst of it.